Hey everyone, so I'm back with another update to the Space Arcade game. Last time we got the carrier collision up so that the fighters would not be able to fly through it. One problem was that the entire set of ships around us and their AI did not consider the carriers as something to avoid. And so there's a, I have a clip of them just bouncing along the carrier ship, kind of like frogs hopping along the ground. And so this video, I addressed that problem. And if you notice, there are a lot of ships flying around and none of them seem to be flying into these carrier ships. So just as a reminder, the green paths that you see are the paths that the ships are trying to follow. So for example, that guy right in front of my ship, which is kind of hard to see with the lighting, has a green path and he's following it. And so the ships, when they fly towards these carriers, their green paths don't change, but the behavior of the ships do. In doing this, the first thought I had was I need to modify my behavior trees to make the AI essentially consider things it should avoid and behave differently. But I have a lot of different behavior trees. For example, right now, I'm, there's a wonder behavior tree. All of these ships are doing is wandering around. And that meant I had to go to my wonder behavior tree, I had to go to my dogfighting behavior tree, I had to go to basically every behavior tree I have and add some sort of component to it that makes them avoid things. And so that seemed really rigid and hard. So I took a different approach that I feel is more fluid and adaptable. So instead of making changes to the behavior tree, instead I made changes to the controlling interface of the ships. And so the ships themselves can do the avoidance in disregard of what the AI is trying to tell it to do to, to some effect. So the approach kind of takes in into regard what the AI is trying to do, but dampens it to some effect if it's going into an area that it should not be going into, which is around the ship. This also means that we as a player can fly the ship and then enable this um, dampening effect, avoidance dampening, to test it out. So what we have is some new options here in this panel. The first thing I'll show you is to show the avoidance spheres. Now the ships have associated with them these new red avoidance spheres. And basically, anytime you enter one of these spheres, you gradually and smoothly have some avoidance applied to you. The avoidance spheres are actually also stored in a separate spatial hash grid. It's a bit larger, um, and there's a new checkbox that you can enable to visualize that. And now we can see that in blue squares. So you will not be considering all the avoidance spheres on the entire level. You'll only be considering the ones for which cell you are in. So let's consider the actual algorithm. So I went through a couple different attempts to get this avoidance working. And this is the algorithm that I came up with. So let's say that we have an avoidance sphere. So this will be our avoidance sphere, make it roughly spherical. And then let's say that we also have a little ship that is trying to fly through the sphere. So he's let's say, coming from like there, going this direction. And then at some point he ends up in the sphere and he's got a direction vector going, let's say, in that direction. And that's the point he's trying to get to. He's trying to get to that point. Now he's in the sphere and he's the AI wants to avoid the sphere. So what I've done is I consider the center of the sphere and then I create a vector from the center towards the ship, or from the ship towards the center. Same difference for, for our purposes. Next, um, we know the radius of the sphere, and we can use that information. B 
basically the deeper you go, the less and less of the radius that you have. And so if you're really close to the center, you want to be at maximum avoidance. I tweaked that a little bit, but for now, just think that the avoidance is very weak out here. It's about middle strength here, and right around here, it's very strong, almost complete avoidance. So this green direction vector that you're trying to go, actually, there is a normalized uh, vector that's just a direction, so it has a length of one. Let's change the color to gray. So it has a length of one, this normal vector component. Now what we can do is find out what portion proportion of this vector is going towards the center. And the way we do that is by taking this normal vector and projecting it onto the vector that is pointing from the ship towards the radius. Now we have a vector that is telling us how much of our basically velocity is going towards the radius. And what we can do is take that vector and remove it from this vector. Now what that'll look like is actually creating some sort of plane. Let's see where the, it's not exact, a plane where we've trimmed out this portion of the velocity. And so he's, the ship is only going to fly along that plane. So if the ship tries to move in this direction, it will be restricted from moving in this direction and will be forced to fly along this plane until exiting the sphere and then it can fly to its target. So that's great, except for that you have to get pretty close to the center of the sphere in order to have any avoidance. So what I've done, if we back up, so there is an internal sphere, the values can be tweaked. Um, and anything between this sphere and the outer sphere is a kind of gradient of avoidance. So this area has a non-maximum avoidance, but once you hit anywhere within this center sphere, you have 100% avoidance. So a ship may be right here flying in this direction. And the component that has to remove is in that direction. Since it's about halfway in the sphere, we'll take half of this component and its velocity will be, we'll remove half of it. So its velocity will look more like that or its input, its input direction will look more like that. Um, if it were closer, say, say if we were right here, trying to go this direction, or sorry, trying to go this direction, its input component, it projects very strongly in that. And so the outgoing velocity would look like that. And once you penetrate this sphere, you basically are moving along a tangent plane. When a ship tries to fly through this thing, let's say it's gonna go straight to the sphere, it'll enter here, and then it'll gradually start pushing outward like that, and come around and then gradually move like that. And so it avoids the interior constant. So if we make sure that some portion of the ship, like the carrier, is in that sphere, then it will avoid that. And we can add these spheres along the carrier to make sure it never hits the carrier. And we have to we do not have to change any of the behavior trees or anything, it just works. In order to debug this, I there was quite a few issues and I needed to be able to visualize how much avoidance things were being or was being applied to the ships. And so now I created these three D widgets that let you see how much avoidance is being applied. So if you look at any one of these flying ships, there appears to be a box beside them and a line. The line represents the maximum possible avoidance that could be applied. So the height of that line is 100%. And the box changes size depending on how much avoidance is being applied. So when it's near none, it shows blue and the, the box is very shallow and not very tall. You can get an idea of how much avoidance is being applied. And we can see with the widgets clearly showing where ships are that as ships fly into the spheres, they kind of fly around the, the sphere, but do not go too deeply within the sphere before they start flying around the sphere.
and it's not an immediate effect it is gradual so that they are dispersed along the outside of the sphere and it's not a clear line or clear inner sphere where where avoidance takes place so the other issue i was facing is the camera would clip into the carrier ship but this video has gone on long enough so i'm going to create a part two or just another video i hope you enjoy that and have a good day